They say that this is not a boycott, but three of the country's most prominent Indigenous groups didn't show up to meet with the premiers today in Edmonton. Instead, the leaders of those groups were halfway across the country in Toronto, where they were holding a news conference using words like sideline, disrespected, and segregated. They say they don't just want to be a part of one day of discussions of Indigenous issues. Instead, they want to be at the table for all three days that the premiers are meeting. When you start talking about the economy, the environment, the health accord, climate change, whatever it is, we don't have to and we should not have to fight to be at those tables. We can't accept the status quo of being uh, excluded or sidelined. They must start according us the respect that we rightfully deserve. The premiers say that the process may not be perfect, but it has been working. I think we risk the chance of, uh, of, uh, of making progress on key issues the broader and broader the group gets. And you won't get to resolution without having those conversations and we would suggest that um, the best way to engage in those conversations is to be there for them. And there were no complaints from the two Indigenous advocacy groups that were at the table today. My membership expects me to do whatever I can to discuss the issues that are affecting our women. What we came here to do, uh, we got, we, we discussed it this afternoon. Uh, and um, and uh, as I mentioned, the premiers have other things to discuss and we'll, we'll just let them do their job. Tomorrow, NAFTA renegotiations take center stage. From what more the premiers can do to help advance Canada's cause to what they want out of a new deal. Today, Saskatchewan's premier suggested that they could quietly start a list of possible retaliatory measures against the United States if, as he put it, things go off the rails, though he says he's sure that won't happen. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Edmonton.